But this is a debate that goes all the way back really to 9-11. In the immediate days after 9-11, when you had the Patriot Act, when you had a broad expansion of presidential power, it actually, you could say, goes back to the beginning of the Republic, of the whole War Powers Act and how much power does a commander-in-chief have. But it's interesting in the sense that Senator Barack Obama often criticized the Bush administration and efforts by then Vice President Dick Cheney to, if you will, expand the power of the presidency. Well, that's just what this president is trying to do now, trying to say that I don't think it would happen, but I'm not going to absolutely say it would not happen. And now the administration, part of this also is a hangover from both Republicans and Democrats. They think they didn't do enough tough oversight of the Bush administration during the Iraq war, and they're getting around to these questions specifically about drones. And, and this for Rand Paul, it really comes down to a basic mistrust of government. I mean, if you, if you look at Eric Holder's letter, he says, the question you have posed is entirely hypothetical, unlikely to occur, and one we hope no president will ever have to confront. But because he refused to completely close the door, because there are always extraordinary circumstances, if you don't trust the government to do the right thing, and you don't think there's enough oversight, then you're going to be on the floor filibustering.